The safety of a neighborhood in question tonight. People who live in Madero are concerned over a weekly disturbance. They tell Channel 5's Sierra Pissarro people who cross a border illegally pass through their yards to get away from Border Patrol. Sierra's live at the neighborhood with more. Sierra? I'm told it happens at least two to three times a week just in this Mission neighborhood. Now, the scary part for some residents is that they can't afford tall, barbed fences like this one. Like clockwork. That's the alarm signaling the almost nightly neighborhood disturbance. Luis Macias saw it himself about 1.30 Sunday morning. About eight, nine guys were uh, running by. And Macias says it was a group of people who had just entered the country illegally. They end up turning right here to my yard. I actually told them, you know, not to come through here. But either way, they still came through here and they went down to the side of the house. It created lots of commotion. Border Patrol was following them, running towards them, I mean, chasing them. So, you know, and next thing we knew, you know, I mean, there was a bunch of cops. Macias lives in Madero, a small community in the southern part of the city of Mission. Having people coming around your, you know, your yard, going through your yard late at night, you know, it can scare, you can scare the crap out of people, you know, especially there's a lot of older ladies here, you know, and they're all by themselves, you know, and to be going through that, you know, I mean, Really no good. He says the group that passed through his yard crushed his neighbor's plants on the way out. Because they came right here, you can you actually see where they, their feet were right here because they got the mud still. You know, I would hate them to be dam for them to be damaging my, my property. I've seen, you know, I've seen them, you know, I heard stories around here where they just knock a whole, if it was a wooden fence, they'll just push it down. You know, they'll all get together and push it down. I mean, that costs money. I know they're just probably trying to get away. They're harmless, but some, some you never know. The Rio Grande River, also known as the U.S.-Mexico barrier, lies right across the street from the Madero neighborhood. That distance is just under a mile. Agents can be spotted along the river scouting. We wanted to find out how they're protecting the neighborhood. Agent Robert Rodriguez sent us this statement. It reads in part, The RGV Border Patrol sector currently leads the nation in illegal alien apprehensions and narcotic seizures. Additional personnel, technology, and infrastructure are needed to achieve operational control of the border and to ultimately keep the citizens of our community safe. Macias thinks the situation could be avoided if he had a fence around his home. His family is saving up for one. They hope to have it by next year. Border Patrol also has this advice for anybody experiencing activity near their home. They urge do not get involved, but to call them directly to report incidents, you can call 800-863-9382. Live in Mission, Sierra Pizarro, Channel 5 News at 6.